Yeah, it's Maximus here. This time with a quick little review of this uh, DeWalt six-piece spade bit set, standard length. We got three eighths through one inch. By only eighth inch increments, but I was so disappointed. Oh, quite a while ago, a few months ago, I did the Diablo uh, Speed Demon self feed spade bits, and Diablo had moved manufacturing to China, and the quality was just terrible. Unfortunately, these DeWalt are also made in China, but at least they have better quality control. Let's take a look at one of these. We'll take a look at the one inch here. There are some things like, first, I only paid $12.50 for these, so these are out on sale at a farm supply, and so they're probably a bit more expensive than normal price. But nonetheless, I think these are actually better than the Diablos. Some things I like about them, they have laser etched side on one side and a stamped sizing on the other, which won't wear out. We can see that the blades are actually ground, which means they've forged and flattened this out and then ground it, so it's going to be pretty decent. They did chamfer the corners. This helps them feed a little bit better and provide a little bit better hole finish because it isn't quite as sharp an edge. It's more of a progressive cut as you drill through it. And then they do have an undercut, kind of a scooping action, which also helps them. When you have, actually, and I should mention that scooping action goes right through the tip. Come on, focus for me. Right through the tip. So these ought to be pretty decent. As far as the screw tips like the <laughs> Bosch or the Diablos, it is entirely necessary. One criticism I will give, well, I should mention, they also have extra thick shanks, which I do like. Helps prevent a little bit of deflection. They do have quarter inch shanks. What I do not like here is they have a max RPM of 3200, indicating uh, compatibility with impact drivers. And a lot of people do use impact drivers with spade bits, and it works okay. Although you get this odd kind of condition where when the impacts and cuts so quickly, the holes end up being a little bit tighter than if you use a drill. It's kind of an odd uh, property, and I've shown that before, but running spade bits with an impact driver is insane. It takes 10 times as long and makes a huge amount of noise just to drill a hole with a spade bit. So I always recommend actually using a drill for spade bits. I see they're calling this their extreme speed channel, but it's just a nice bit of relief. Provides a little bit more edge for cutting. Anyway... Uh, let's go take a look at this one inch. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my Milwaukee Triple Deuce, which is a much a much more appropriate 1,000 RPM, especially for a one inch spade bit. It's the other in issue with saying 3,200 RPM. Uh, that's a good way to overheat and lose the temper on the metal and ruining your spade bit. I will say that they do run pretty true. Let's see if we can't get this to focus. My hand's shaking a little bit, but they are indeed true and straight. Let's see how well it likes to uh, actually drill. You don't need threaded tips on spade bits. If they're built halfway decently, they'll go right through material without any type of issue. Anyway, let's go take a look at the finish of those holes. Here we are again. The bit seems absolutely fine. That was just a couple of short holes. These two outer holes are the ones I just drilled. I forget. I think maybe it was the Diablo. I'm not sure what I ended up drilling these two inner holes with. But with the DeWalt, we can see that it actually has a pretty good finish pretty smooth. Oftentimes spade bits will really tear up the hole and there'll just be a bunch of like, I, it's not furriness, but a bunch of torn up material where it's like pulling it apart rather than actually sharing it. We can see as with all spade bits, when you're going across the grain like this, that's what it's doing this way, it kind of tears it up a little bit more and then when it's going with the grain, it's going to be a bit smoother so you will have inconsistency in every hole, but this is not bad at all. So, if you're going to get Chinese spade bits, and since it seems the Bosch's and the Diablo's and the DeWalt's, I bet everybody's are Chinese now, unless you buy some really expensive aftermarket ones, uh, I think these DeWalt's are actually pretty competitive, especially if you can get them on sale like I did. You know, twelve fifty for a new pack of six is actually quite worth it. And really one of the most critical features, the fact that they're actually straight and don't wobble around is a pretty big deal 
and it's a nice touch that they stamp the sizes into them as well as laser etching. I guess that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.